I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. If you are new to this version, there is a link in the video description below to an introduction. Also, there's a link to this player reference, which has all the scoring elements, also called Fawn. And there are 81. This is why I like to practice. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 will get 13 each. Then we'll look at each player's hands, see where the strengths lie. Hopefully we'll be able to identify potential fawn. It is the east round. That variable may come in handy. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. We have three dots, one, four, eight, isolated. We have three cracks, three, five, eight. There's a potential chi or chow. Then we have five bams with a pair and a chi. Then we have single honors. So for this player, let's look at repeating patterns. Four, three, five, three, five. Potential three, four, five, mixed triple chow. Mixed triple chow is eight points. Mixed triple chow is number 41, eight points. Now, any time I play mixed triple chow, I want to train myself to see mixed shifted chows, number 51. That is six points. So it's a little easier to complete. And it's something to consider if the tiles are close, but not precisely one, two, three, or in this case, three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five. You could have one, two, three, two, three, four, then three, four, five. That would be mixed shifted chows. Let's see. One, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. mixed triple chow or mixed shifted chows. So let's keep those and let's keep the honors because if we draw bams, we could do a half flush, but we might be able to use these if chow tiles come in. Let's discard the big numbers. And then we could maybe keep the one because if we get a one, two, three, we could maybe do two, three, four. So let's keep the one. Let's discard the eights and focus on chows or bams for player one. Let's look and see what we can do for player two, also known as South. We got a flower. So we have four cracks, four, six, eight. Then we have five dots with a pair of fives. Some child potential there. Then we have three bams with a pair and single dragons. So we have mixed suits. We have four, six, four, five, and six. There's a little chance for mixed triple chow again. Four, five, six. 
four, five, six. We'll see if we can get a five bam. We do have two pair. I would not try for all pung yet because you should have four pair to go for pung. So I wouldn't commit to pungs. Now, if we get a seven crack or pair up the four, we could do mixed shifted pungs. Mixed shifted pungs is number 42, and that is eight points. So let's keep an eye on this four. Let's keep, let's keep four, five, six, and focus on chows or pairing up for pungs. Maybe we could keep the dots because that's what we have the most of. Let's start by discarding the nine bam and the eight crack. There is a fawn called All Even Pungs, number 21, 2468, All Pungs, 24 points. We have a pair of fives though, but look at all these even numbers, 468, 684. So let's just keep an eye on that. All even pungs, two, four, six, eight. And they're all simples, by the way, because ones and nines are terminals. Let's see what we can do. Well, here in this case, let's keep the eight. Let's discard nine bam first, see what happens. Let's see what we can do for player three, also known as West. flower. All even pungs. Look, look at these evens. We have two, four, six, eight. Let's see if we can do all even pungs. We have one, two, three pair. We need to pair up here. We'll see what happens. We could always fall back to all pung no terminals or no honors all pung and all simples all pung is six points number 49 and all simples is two number 68 so if all, all even pungs doesn't come in we'll do all pung and all simples so let's keep the five we'll discard the honors and the one focus on simples and maybe evens two four six eight Let's see what we can do for player four, also known as North. We have four BAMs, two potential chows, five cracks, potential chows throughout, three dots, potential chows. We need to come up with fawn here. So, we have eight, nine, seven, eight, eight, nine, mixed triple chow potential right here. Let's see if we could do five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. So here's mixed triple chow, or actually mixed triple chow, but keep the six for potential mixed shifted chows. So if we have one, two, three blocks, this is north seat. Let's get rid of the honor. That way we can do no honors. Let's keep big numbers six through nine, maybe keep the five. Let's get rid of the little numbers. We have one, two, three blocks. Really mixed, mixed triple chow is eight, point, eight points. And here we have a side weight. I think maybe mixed triple chow is good. We just need to come up with a pair. Let's discard the West. Okay, we're ready to go now. So let's, discard for this player. We're going to discard the eights because we're playing mixed triple chow 
or mixed shifted chows or half flush. So we don't need the eights. Let's discard eight dot. Eight dot. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. South. South. Here we're thinking of either all pung and chows. Let's get rid of the nine bam. Nobody can take nine bam. Five crack. Okay. That is a simple. We'll keep it. It is an odd number. Let's discard West. Three crack. There's a pair. We got a pair right there. Let's discard West. Four bam. Okay, let's get rid of the eight. Eight crack. Eight crack, nobody can take. We'll draw for south. Two bam. We really don't need that. Let's see here. We're thinking of pairing up for Pung or Chow's. Four, five, six, four, five, six, six, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six. Let's keep the two. We'll keep the six. Let's let's discard the one dot. Maybe we could get them to all simples. White dragon. That doesn't help with all evens, but we could do all pung, dragon pung. That's eight points. Let's discard one bam. South, south. We're thinking mixed triple chow here. We have a pair there. One, two, three, four, five. We really don't need these back here. We have one, two, three, four, five blocks. They're set to go. We just need to chow. No honors. That's a fawn. Let's draw. North. We got a pair in there now. That's not their seat, but it could help them get to a half flush. Let's discard one dot. Three bam. Chow potential. Two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six. Mixed, shifted chows. Two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six. Let's get rid of the eight dot. drawing. Two bam. That is an even number. Let's discard five bam. Actually, you know what? There are two eight dots out, but if we pair up that eight dot, we might be able to do that all even pungs. Let's discard this five bam. Five bam. Down here, we could pung. Okay, pung, here's the thing. We have one, two, three, four. We could chow, chow, pung, chow. Wait, chow, chow, pung, pung. That would not be a chow. You can't chow honors. Okay, um, let's see. If we pung, we're gonna discard these. Three discards to half flesh. We need more value though. One, two, three. We need, an, we need two more points though because half flesh is only, only 
six points. Half flesh number 50, that's six points. Our weight could help. If we have an edge weight, that could be a point. That's seven. We need one more point still. I'm kind of thinking we need to let it go because this is a non-value honor. That could potentially be their pair, but we need a valued, we need more value here by two points if we play half flesh. Maybe we should stick with one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, mix shifted chows. Mix shifted chows is six points. Six, one half dozen the other. And this is easier. So we need, we, I think we should go for half flesh. What about one, two, three, four, five, six? That's a, that's a short straight. Short straight is one point. And then we could plan our weight to be a valued weight, edge weight, closed weight, or single weight. You get one point for all of those. So if we do one, two, three, four, five, six, and we pung that five, that's going to hurt our chance to get another five because there's only four of every tile. Let's let it go. We'll let it go because I think we should use this as a short straight and go with a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we stay concealed, that also is two points. Concealed is number 62, two points. If we do a half flush concealed, that's eight points. Let's not take it. So this player discarded five bam. So it's this player's turn. Oh, now this player here could take it because we need to chow here and here we can chow. Let's chow. Three, four, five. So we took the chow. Let's discard one crack. We need, we need seven, eight, nine here. Seven crack. We want maybe bams. This seven is not going to be helpful um, unless we go higher. Four, five, six. Let's see, three, four, five. No, no, no. Three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven. So that could come in handy if we go with chows. Let's discard. Now, let's keep it simple. Seven crack. Let's stick on the low end. Seven crack, seven crack, drawing for this player. They could technically chow here, but we're looking for two through, one, two, three, three, four, five, four, five, six. Seven is too high up, so let's let it go. We got a six. Okay, we paired up though. So here now we have three pair. One, two, three. If we pair up one more time, we could switch to pungs and then maybe discard the honors for no honors. And we also have double pung potential. Double pungs. Double pung is number 65, two points. All pung, double pung. We need another pair in here. Let's discard eight crack. It's already out. Okay, so we'll see. We have an option for pungs here. Eight crack was thrown. Nobody can take it. Let's draw. Eight bam. 
Look at all these even numbers. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have one, two, three, four pair. I'm thinking all Pung might be better here for this player. Let's discard five crack. Drawing here. Four BM. Down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We want to try to do a short straight. There's a four. We could do maybe half flush concealed. Let's let's go ahead and, and give up on the mixed chows. Four dot. Nobody can take it. Seven bam. Seven bam. We have, let's see, is any of this out? None of these tiles are out. This would give us, if we could pair that up, we would have mixed shifted pungs, five, six, seven. Let's give up the four crack. Here we can pung. So let's see, if I'm sitting over there, this would be the player on my left. Let's see here. I think that's right. Okay. We're going for pungs. We could still do evens, but we only have two more pair here. Eight dot is out. Let's discard that. Eight dot. One crack. Two dot. Seven crack. Okay, let's see. Let's discard four dot. Here's a pair, pair, pair. Okay. Let's draw. Seven bam. That's a simple, but let's stick with evens. Seven bam. Ciao. Ciao. Okay, we're getting close to this mixed triple chow. Let's discard five crack. One away from ready. Five crack. Oh, that was the second that we're into the middle game now. So everybody should know really where their score's coming from, I would think. That would be smart. Half flush, maybe concealed, all pung double pung, all pung, maybe all even pungs, or all pung, dragon pung, mixed triple chow. Ooh, east. Okay, this half flush is looking good. That's the wind of the round. That's the two points we need right there. We can now go exposed. Three crack. Three crack. This is a pair. We don't want that. Let's draw. Four crack. We discarded that. Nine crack. Ciao. Ready to win on a seven dot, and that's an edge weight. So that'll be another point. Six dot.
east. Wow, there's Pung. So we have one, two, three, two pair, pair, Pung, five crack. One man. We want we want pairs. I don't think this one bam is going to be helpful. Eight crack. That's an even number. But there are two out. South. East. We have a Kong. Kong. Two dot. They're still concealed. Three bam. We paired up. We've got a pair now. So this is good. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four pair. These can all give us value. None are out. The Souths are out. Let's discard South. We just need to Pung. Three dot. Yeah, three dot. That's an odd number. We need a seven dot to win. One crack. Five bam. We got a Pung. One, two, three, pair. We're ready to win on half flush. Wind of the round, Kong. Ready on a double weight. Red dragon. Nobody can take it. We're ready on a four bam or a north. Nine bam. Nine bam. That's, we really don't need that. That's already out anyway. Let's throw nine bam in a chow and a discard. The red would be a good discard too. Let's draw. Four dot, that's an even number. Even number, let's see, we have here and here and here, pungs. I think at this point, I would give up on even pungs. We're, we're in the middle of the middle game and we, we're lacking two pair in evens. Let's keep the dragon and discard four dot. That's already been thrown twice. We need a seven dot to win. Five crack. Seven dot, we're ready to win. That is Mahjong right here. Player on our right. Seven dot. This player discarded seven dot, which is an edge weight. We have mixed triple chow for their major fawn. That is number 41, eight points. They also have all chow, which is number 63 for two points. So that's 10. Then they have an edge weight, which is 11. If you play online, the game scores for you. But if you play in a live game, whether it be in a private setting or in a tournament, the winner is responsible for scoring their hand. That's why you need to know all the scoring elements. I almost missed all chow. No honors. I was thinking no honors, but all chow is no honors. So it's one or the other. But all chows is two points. No honors is only one. 
make sure you download this player reference so that you can study and practice if you have a set of tiles at home. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.